The presence of the Special Forces Command personnel at the old Entebbe Airport Base was a manifestation of a successful rescue mission of Ugandans who were trapped in the Sudan War. <laughs> Present at the base was the former SFC commander and now the senior presidential advisor on special operations, General Hoskan Rugaba, to ensure a safe landing of Uganda never choose. At half past 30 a.m., Uganda National Carrier A330 landed at the old airport base, where on board were Ugandan university students studying from Khartoum, businessmen and Muslims who were returning from Hija in Mecca, but got trapped in Khartoum waiting for a connecting flight to Entebbe, Uganda. Genom Hoskan and Rugaba with humor will come to these Ugandans back home. Welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Well, you know, who is this? Is this your child? Yeah. Hello. 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 According to Genom Hosey, the repatriation process was entirely mission ably executed by Uganda's elite forces, the Special Forces Command. Some of the Special Forces officers are can also come, come forward. He was also coordinating from here, but he, he came, came and picked you up in Ethiopia. And the whole of SFC, which, has, which is the one... receiving you now. He saluted the president of Uganda, Jenu Yoel Kakuta Museveni, for creating an enabling ground for the repatriation process. Uh, we want to thank our president, he's the one who planned all of this uh, and supported us uh, to, 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 help you bring, uh, to help you come back. Muhozi equally held the Ethiopian government for the cooperation rendered in the rescue operation mission. We also want to thank the government of Ethiopia very much for allowing us to use their allowing us to use their territory to evacuate you. At the airport, the team was treated to a brotherly reception comprised of refreshments, medical assistance, as well as free government transport to their final destinations. There are some medical checks if you have for those who are not feeling well. The people, the doctors will check you, and then there's some transportation to take you to Kampala. Thank you very much. General Hoskan Rugaba offered a standing ovation to the Uganda Airlines for making the journey possible and also pledged that efforts to return more of the willing citizens back home are still on. To thank uh, General Muhozi the most because he was the one commanding this operation and supervising it. It was fine. We found them organized. So the process was very fast. They were happy, of course, to come back home. They were happy. They were desperate to get back here. Robert Nyango,